Right now on WUSA 9 News at 11, we're getting some brand new video from a vigil in Woodbridge, Virginia, where family and friends spent the night grieving the loss of a loved one. Oh, sweetest person, he always counted on me. I counted on him. He was always there for me. Yeah, Jose Guerrero disappeared just days before Christmas, and now police believe they found his body. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. I'm Leslie Foster. This is a story our team has been following closely for you. Two people are now facing murder charges in this case. Our Katie Lesso starts us off in Prince William County. She was at tonight's vigil and has some brand new details on this investigation. To the crowd gathered here tonight, Jose Guerrero was known as Chepe, someone who always had a smile on his face, loved to play soccer, and most importantly, loved his family, especially his 10 month old baby girl. He was a good son, a good brother, a good father, a good boyfriend. As white balloons filled the sky, <laughs> and Jose Guerrero's favorite songs played, Lo que no importante. his loved ones prayed and shared stories. He was the best friend I ever had. At a vigil Friday night, after a month of searching, Thursday night, they were told his body was found in Maryland. Family friend Ruby Bermuda says it broke them. Never lost hope, but yesterday was the phone call that you don't want to take. Olvin Daniel Argenta Ramirez and a 17 year old young man now charged with murder. Court documents reveal the two allegedly told police they intended to rob Jose during a drug deal in a parking lot in Lost Canyon Court on December 21st. Instead, after some sort of argument, they stabbed him repeatedly, then drove him to another part of Woodbridge to make sure he was dead, and then drove in his car to Adelphi, Maryland, where police say they left his body in the woods and then drove his bloody car back to to Woodbridge and left it there. He had a life ahead of him. Why did you do this? Why? His girlfriend shared this photo with us of their daughter, a little girl who now has to grow up without her father. His family says they will get justice. There's going to be justice. I promise you that. And tonight the family is working hard to raise money through a GoFundMe page. That money will be used for funeral expenses and his daughter. We posted a link to it on our website, WUSA9.com. In Woodbridge, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA9.